The RTX 3080 successor, RTX 4080, is set to launch sooner than we expected along with other 40 series cards. While it won't be as powerful as the 4090 or 4090 Ti, it should still be able to pump out a tremendous level of gaming performance. But how good will it actually be? And should you wait for the next generation Nvidia cards instead of buying a current gen GPU right now? In this video, we are going to talk about the upcoming RTX 4080 to give you a brief idea of what this card is all about and whether you should wait for it to arrive. Due to the current situation of the GPU market, it's not wise to talk about how much the RTX 4080 might cost. Instead, let's talk about the possible specs that might come along with it. According to PC Games N, NVIDIA RTX 4080 is likely to have 16GB of GDDR6X VRAM, as much as 14,080 CUDAs, 144 RT, and 440 Tensor Cores on board. While this should be taken with a grain of salt, let's compare it with the current gen RTX 3080 to see how much of a performance gain we can expect from the RTX 4080. The current RTX 3080 comes in 10GB and 12GB GDDR6X variants with CUDA cores of up to 8960, 68 ray tracing, and 280 tensor cores. Apart from the VRAM, we are looking at double the spec bumps on the 4080 compared to the 3080. So theoretically, we are looking at about 60 to 80% performance margin between these cards. Nvidia releases newer GPUs every two years. Given the release of the RTX 30 series card back in 2020, we are expecting to see the 4080 be released this year along with other 40 series cards. Renowned leaker Copite 7 Kimi earlier posted that we might get to see RTX 4080 in early quarter 3 of this year, but in a recent reply, he estimates that it can be as soon as mid of July. Good luck battling those scalper bots and pre ordering one as soon as Nvidia drops next gen goodies, cause you're definitely gonna need that. Nonetheless, it will be really good to see the next generation of Nvidia cards rocking the gaming benchmarks. RTX 4080 is expected to be the perfect 40 series card that doesn't chimp on performance while having a decent MSRP, which can be really challenging to get. We will be back again with performance benchmarks and comparisons as soon as the card launches. So, that was all about the upcoming RTX 4080. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and comment below to let us know your thoughts. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon if you want to see more videos like this.